Hello, this is Cassius. I'm the creator of Mile High Taxi. Today I'm going to show you a few things I've worked on over the past few weeks in my game. Let's get started. I've spent quite a bit of time working on performance optimizations. To begin with, I started to group together similar or same dynamic game objects, such as street signs and traffic lights. That way I can apply a single script and sphere collider within the Unity editor, which can be seen here in the inspector window on the right. Doing that lets me disable game objects that are too far away from the player to be of much use to them. This is in addition to the LODs, or Level of Detail settings, that already exist for these game objects. Alright, so let's check that out. So they may be hard to see, but the street signs and traffic lights aren't visible at first. But as I get closer to them, about 200 meters or so, they begin to appear. I'm going to turn around and see if we can get another view of that. Yeah, it's really hard to see, but that's good and it's exactly what I want. The transition blends into the visual noise of the game, which is ideal. Setting up the triggers is a small way to optimize my game. As I disable and enable these game objects, you can see the number of draw calls go up and down in the small window towards the top right. Less draw calls means less being sent to the GPU. That helps maintain a high frame rate. Another thing I've changed is the way the camera behaves near walls. This isn't a performance optimization at all, but more of a development enhancement. Before these changes, the camera would often fly through walls if it got too close, breaking the player's immersion. Now if the camera gets too close to the wall, the camera pulls in close to the taxi. I also did a lot of work in this area of the game along Spadina Avenue, between Queen Street West on the north and Adelaide Street West on the south. It's a bit of an open area which is intended to help the player orient themselves. I've added some gravity-defying bridges, about 100 billboards, a few new buildings, balconies, a vertical streetcar stop, skywalks, and a bunch of taxi bays as well. Just keep in mind that many of the billboards are only space fillers, and I'll be fixing them up over time. Here we can see Spadina facing north, an area I'm currently building out. Yeah, some bridges and some taxi bays. A rather large skywalk there. Over here you might notice that ugly building with the big black horizontal bands on it. That's a remnant of some other performance optimizations I've made over a bunch of the buildings. I went through the process of completely remapping the UV coordinates on the building mesh and retexturing the buildings into an atlas uh, so multiple buildings could share the same material within Unity. Again, this will save on draw calls sent to the GPU and it's also going to save me some memory. And lastly for today's update, I significantly reduced the number of reflection probes in the Unity Editor. In fact, I now have only about one-third of what I previously had, without any noticeable impact to gameplay at all. It's going to save me about 150 megs of memory, and there's less resources for the game to keep track of. Every little bit helps. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my YouTube channel to see all my game updates. And be sure to wishlist Mile High Taxi on Steam. Link is in the description.